Hello everyone and welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. My name is George and I couldn't be more excited to be back with you once again sharing great tips and tricks. Today I've got some thrilling pro tips exclusively for all of you iOS users out there. And trust me, they're going to revolutionize the way you work on the go. Let's imagine a scenario. You're out and about and suddenly your employer needs you to share a critical document with your team or your clients. It could be a report, a proposal or some design mockups. Now, instead of frantically searching for a computer or waiting until you're back at the office, just envision creating that perfect PDF right on your mobile with a few taps. PDF Element iOS can improve your workflows with a complete set of tools to read, edit, convert, annotate, sign and share, and OCR PDFs on iPhone and iPad. Making PDFs on mobile devices has never been so comfortable and easy. In this video, you'll discover three ways to make PDF files on your phone. Say goodbye to being chained to your desk or lugging around a laptop to handle essential documents. Before we dive into the awesome features of PDF Element, just make sure you've got the latest version installed on your phone. You can download it for free from the App Store. And if you already have PDF Element installed, navigate to the App Settings menu where you'll find the Check for Updates option. Simply tap on that and PDF Element will automatically search for updates and install them if there are any available. The iOS version of PDF Element gives us three different ways to create documents. They are from scratch, from files and photos, and the last is from scan pages. Each one comes in handy depending on the situation. Starting with the most common scenario, let's analyze how to create PDF files from scratch. The process is pretty straightforward. To get started, simply pick the blank PDF option that appears when you tap on the plus menu. Next, you can choose whether you want your page to have lines like a notebook paper or a grid to help you create symmetrical layouts. Additionally, you can select the size, orientation, and number of pages you need. After you've created a document among the available tools, you'll find the Edit PDF tool, which is key for shaping your PDF. This unlocks two powerful tools, the Add Text tool and the Add Image tool. With these, you can add text and images from your gallery or even take photos with your device to use in your PDF. Keep in mind that while using the Add Image tool, you will also have the flexibility to rotate or crop them to explore various layouts and achieve the professional look you're going for. Now, with the Add Text tool, you can write text and adjust its font family, color, size, and style, depending on the context and your needs. By leveraging the power of these two tools, you can adjust the text box alignment and margins to give your document a professional and polished appearance. Plus, among the comment tools, you can find the Shapes tool that allows you to create visual aids to enhance your document's organization and make it a breeze to read. Last but not least, if you want to enhance navigation and reading in your document, you can use the Insert tool to add links that redirect you to web pages or different sections within the document. Now, let's look at the second method, which comes in handy when you've already got a document or image that you'd like to convert to a PDF to leverage the compatibility and security virtues of the PDF format. To convert a document or image to PDF, you'll need to go to the Home tab and open the Plus menu. Then you'll need to choose the Files option if you want to convert a file such as PowerPoint or DocX into PDF. On the other hand, if you want to create a document from one or more images in your gallery, simply select the Photos option. Pretty intuitive, isn't it? Once you've selected the file or images, PDF Element will work its magic and convert it to a PDF format. If for some reason when selecting the images to create a document you find that the pages of the PDF are in the wrong order, just tap on the Pages button. That is found next to the search tool and then organize the pages to your liking by simply tapping and dragging them. Furthermore, among the Tools option, you'll also find the Add button that allows you to add more pages to your document. You can use the additional images, files, utilize your device's camera to scan physical pages, or even add a blank page and edit it. Oh, and if you happen to come across a page with the wrong orientation, among the pages tools, you'll also find the rotate option. With this tool, you can change the page orientation to make them look exactly the way you want. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Now, let's move on to the third method, which consists of scan pages to create PDFs using your mobile. This approach is incredibly useful when you have a physical paper document and you need to make changes or share it without dealing with limitations of photocopies. To do this, simply tap the scan tool from the plus menu. 
and point your device's camera at the page of your document. If you keep the auto option enabled at the top right corner of your screen, PDF Element will automatically take a picture, recognize and crop the shape of the page. If you need to continue scanning more pages, simply tap the keep scan button and repeat the process for each page of your physical document. When you're finished, just tap the save button. Now, just like I showed you earlier, you'll need to perform the optical character recognition process on the document that PDF Element generated for you. Once that is done, your document will be completely editable. As you can see, creating professional grade PDFs right from your mobile is incredibly convenient and straightforward. But do you know what's even better? It's the wide range of possibilities this opens up for you. Just imagine being able to access and share all your documents on the go from wherever you are. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Simply open the options menu of the document and tap the share option. You can do this either from the document listing or by opening the document and expanding the ellipsis menu. Now, you'll find three distinct options for sharing your documents. The share by file option allows you to send your document through almost any messaging app on your phone. This is amazing because the recipients receive a digital copy of your document ready for annotations or edits, making collaboration a breeze. On the other hand, we have the share by mail option, which is a great fit for work-related scenarios. Not only does the recipient receive an editable digital copy, but they can also effortlessly forward the email to multiple people if the need arises. Finally, the share by link option is undoubtedly the top choice if you want to share your document to others while safeguarding its integrity from edits. This option stores a digital copy of your document in the Wondershare cloud and provides a viewing link that anyone can access. So no need for any apps, just a web browser. Speaking of cloud storage, PDF Element can connect with various cloud storage services that you can use to store your documents and in this way unlock the possibility of accessing them anywhere at any time. Imagine backing up all your documents in the cloud and no matter where you are, being able to edit or share them. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? No matter where you are or what you're doing, all it takes is grabbing your phone, opening PDF Element and there you go. Your documents, which used to be tied to your computer, are now right at your fingertips. Let me walk you through an example. I'll start by uploading the document I just created to the cloud. It's as simple as opening my documents options menu, selecting upload, and selecting the cloud storage service I want to use. At this point, I could even delete the original document from my device since it's now backed up in the cloud. Now, I just head to the files tab, select the cloud storage service where I uploaded it, and there it is. Now I can read it, edit it, or even share it. What we've seen today is just a brief overview of what this app can do. The iOS version of PDF Element holds many more secrets that will undoubtedly revolutionize the way you work with PDF documents. So if you haven't already installed PDF Element on your phone, why not give it a try and start exploring all that this powerful tool has in store for you? Well, that's all for now. Before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for staying with me to the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I would really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll continue bringing you many videos with many tips and tricks to make your work life easier and more efficient. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel and there you'll find many more videos just like this one. See you next time.